it's time to know what's on the front pages of uh, Nigeria newspapers. And with me in the studio are public affairs analyst Shijibumi Adebi Bennett and Dr. Dayo Kayo, the political technocrat. Gentlemen, good morning. Good Thank morning. you for joining us. Good morning. Now let's head straight to the papers and I begin with uh, Nigerian News Direct. Niger Delta Avengers, no need to issue bombing threat. Buhari speaking there. Niger Delta Avengers, no need to issue bombing threat. All right, we'll move to the leadership newspaper now, restructuring. President Muhammad Buhari queries Niger Delta Avengers threat to resume hostilities. President Muhammad Buhari queries Niger Delta Avengers threat to resume hostilities. To the Daily Trust now, uh, Boko Haram others in mass recruitment of bandits. Boko Haram others in mass recruitment of bandits. You find details of the story on the pages of the Daily Trust. To the Blueprint newspaper, insecurity in federal capital territory, Uni Abuja, Veritas, Varsity, COE, D, Zuba, five others on red alert. Find details of the story on the pages of the Blueprint. To the Daily Sun now, Buhari begs Niger Delta Avengers says threat of bombing unnecessary. Buhari begs Niger Delta Avengers says threat of bombing unnecessary. Details on the pages of the Daily Sun. To the Business Day now, six countries show Nigeria's poverty reduction goal is achievable. Six countries show Nigeria's poverty reduction goal is achievable. To the national economy now, Nigeria's budget per capita <coughs> lowest among African peers report. Nigeria's budget per capita lowest among African peers a report speaking there. To the business AM, DMO makes headway, sorting Nigeria's 5.6 trillion Naira budget deficit. Uh, DMO, that's uh, the Debt Management Office, uh, makes a headway, sorting Nigeria's 5.6 trillion Naira budget deficit. To the Vanguard newspaper now, fuel subsidy must go to move economy ahead. Federal government says fuel connected to Commoners already deregulated, refineries not working because of subsidy, discloses Nigeria accidentally discovered 206 trillion cubic feet gas reserves. Aunt uh, National Assembly ready to pass PIB, strike looms in petrol if petrol prices, if petrol price rises, the NLC reacting. All right, to the Punch newspaper, petrol landing cost hits uh, 232 Naira. Subsidy rises to 5.58 billion Naira daily. April landing cost, 216 Naira. Devaluation, rising crude price, fueling price increase, rising subsidy payment reduces funds for infrastructure development. Rewani. To the Guardian newspaper now, firms to produce, uh, to produce from neighboring countries over new gas prices others. Nigeria accidentally discovered 206 uh, uh, trillion uh, gas reserves, uh, FX scarcity, gas dollarization, missed back inflation, gas users to pay 5.10 uh, dollars uh, MMBTU from July despite uh, shortages. you find details of that story on the page of uh, the Guardian newspaper. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about uh, this developing story, uh, which has to do with the murder of the Super TV CEO, uh, for which a suspect was paraded, um, I think, on Thursday. And that, ha that story has generated <coughs> a lot of reactions. A statement coming out from a different direction with regards to what happened, uh, who did what, and all of it and also videos surfacing uh, the internet. But then again, uh, criticisms have uh, followed or trailed the handling of the case, especially by the police. Uh, a lot of persons say it, could, it can be handled better, especially with regards to the parading of the suspect. Dr. Dayokayadi, let's get your perspect uh, perspective to uh, that angle of criticism. Uh, my condolences first to the Family. families of uh, uh, the young man mm. that was uh, murdered. And uh, a lot of stories here and there 
have been uh, cropping up. And between you and me, I don't think when it comes to the issue of relationship, anybody can talk about it deeply. Not even the Pope. Mm. A friend of mine, uh, don't let me mention his name. He's somebody Please that you also, you also know very well. Don't mention him. Sometimes, sometimes came up on a platform that we both belong to. That there is even need to review the, the institution of marriage as is presently. Mm. Why yeah. so? And he was saying it, that there is need to How? review it. How so? Because that's an institution you will get, you will get into at the end of the day, either good or bad, because of societal stigma and so many other things involved, you have to remain there. Okay. All right? Now, look at this. Oh, that's your choice. Nobody forces you to remain the issue, there. The issue is, in Yoruba, there's something they call it Jaokonkon. Meaning? Chinji Bobi, can you help me to interpret Jaokonkon? Do you understand? Know it's, 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 it's something you are going into you don't know what exactly is there. Mm. All right? It is what you meet, it's what you get. No, but you get a sense. Which you sense? get a sense that, of what you are, are lot going of, There into. are a lot of pretense mm. these days. Let me give you where I'm coming from here. Okay. I read the, I read the, the, the story being given or the, the alibi being shown. By this, our other friend, uh, Igbokwe. Not proven yet. No, Igbokwe, Igbokwe put it on his Facebook page. I read, I read Igbokwe's uh, statement mm -hmm. as regards this, talking about conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. As regards, as regards this lady, the wife, the wife of this but guy. The family is threatening a lawsuit now, saying that most of those stories are false. How would they know? How would they prove to you that it's false? Do, do they need? Do they need How to go? How can we prove that? Do they it need is the to truth? go? Do they need to go to court before knowing whether it is false? How can or? we prove that it is the truth? Then let them leave it for police to investigate. Right. Look at it. They are saying, look, this lady, according to Obukwe, he said, look, this the story that he has is this lady was actually asked to marry somebody before now, before marrying this guy, and the guy is saying, look, there is nothing that is going to stop me. From marrying you. Now, all of these conspiracy theories is for the police to prove. Exactly what but I'm saying. The handling of the case now, in terms of bringing uh, the, the, the suspect out there to speak without a representative of a lawyer, is a challenge to a lot of persons. No, the issue. The, the parading of the, the suspect is, and allowing her to confess. The, 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 is the a suspect. To the a, suspect. A lot of persons. The question is. Did the suspect committed that act or not? Okay. Do you understand? If if definitely she did, then under what circumstance did she did she but commit the offense? Exactly. Do you she understand? Will, so those she, are the those are the things that the police need to first of all get information on mm. before they can proceed to court because definitely they will prosecute the lady. Mm -hmm. And definitely, the lady will, will definitely come up with her own story. Of course, she's and like coming Mokwe up. said, a lot of people will still be arrested. Right, Shijibomi, let's get your perspective to this whole matter, the handling, what your views are with the whole don't, issues, don't, don't go the conspiracy, to no. <laughs> <laughs> the whole conspiracy theories, and all of it. I'm a bit happy this morning, mm. and uh, you can see I'm smiling, not because of what we're discussing, but because of what we're not discussing. Okay. So, um, for a very long time, you know, off camera we were saying something like that. I'm not saying deaths or something did not happen over the weekend, but for a very long time, it will be the first time I will be here on a Monday morning and we're not discussing insecurity or right. people that have died over the weekend. So, uh, it's, it's a good shift. And this issue we're discussing as well um, is serious Similar. because. Um, before this time, I never knew about the name Ataga, but yeah, now it's a popular yeah. name. Mm. Yes, children, their future is now <laughs> uh, connected to this case. Tainted. Yes. Um, then the future of a young lady, 
is at stake. You know, in these days of social media, when things like this happen, everybody becomes a lawyer, um, <laughs> an, a an analyst, a judge, and an expert. Mm. And mm. everybody also becomes a saint. Mm. Mm. So, um, we, we, these guys were just, um, both of them were just unfortunate. Um, it's it's an is a very usual occurrence what we, we are reading and everybody is trying to play saved is a very usual occurrence we know what happens in marriages these days we know how, how it is the pressure the the, the, the globalization and the civilization <coughs> the pressure it puts on people individuals uh, and marriages is enormous. don't they have a choice um, even as, as, as not a, to be pressured as a single person you are pressured not to talk mm -hmm. of when you now have extra responsibilities but you we won't go into that now you need extra grace uh, and control commitment you know um, you have to be on that some uh, some influence to be able to be sane and mm -hmm. influence I mean is not divine uh, yes so we don't want to go to that so um, I, I'm, I'm not just um, I, I'm not just sad about the occurrence, but I just believe that the police. That sometimes we blame them. To the best of my knowledge, they've not done anything <coughs> so untowards, because this is a time of social media, and when the press people put the mic in the in, mm. in, in the lady's um, mouth, they couldn't have stopped it because it's the same us that we say they are trying to. Um, shield or or do one thing or the other. So, right. so I, I think we should allow them. The the, the case will we 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 die down slowly, but the, so that the investigation can continue. I think the media hype. I mean, okay, will, okay, will fizzle out. All right, let's quickly go on this short break. When we return, we'll continue our conversation. Stay with us. So one quick thing before we move away from this issue is the fact that it brought to light the issue concerning the abuse of drugs mm. which has been mm. a burden <clears throat> in the country mm. and even the president at some point said that that abuse of drugs is worse than even banditry i think that was over the weekend right when the uh, ndla people visited mm. the president uh, in Nassau rock and they, i think he was represented by boss mustafa also at that uh, gathering and he was talking about uh, incidences of uh, drug abuse and the effect on uh, the people and even between you and me when you look at the young one these days the way they abuse uh, abuse Substance. uh, substances that uh, that are banned and even aside from that even the way people use drugs without consulting uh, prescription uh, uh, doctors and all that is becoming uh, alarming, alarming in this country, and I think the abuse of substances in Nigeria need to be highly curtailed. You know, even if you see people that goes into all this banditry, this banditry, uh, kidnappers, mm. robbers, and all that, they are, they always engage in this kind of a thing mm. because you see them always shaking it. You know, I mean, we always see, we always see some of them. In uh, Hollywood uh, uh, movies, movies and all that, you know. So I think I think it's high time such are being uh, properly controlled mm. in this country. You know? uh, can we really control this, uh, Shijibumi, when we talk about the abuse of uh, substance and drugs? Because we've been talking about it over time, but it seems it's coming to light the more these days. We can. Um, the will is just uh, the, uh, the will just have to be there, and uh, we have to commend the new NDLEA boss mm. who is doing fantastically well. Yeah. So and um, uh, Mara, so, yes. Mara. And um, uh, now that we see that it's a problem, there is focus on it. So the first thing you have to you have to acknowledge is the fact that you have a problem. Once you acknowledge that, then everybody tries to get a solution. Even people that are that were unaware will now be aware. And um, we try as much as possible to also prevent it within their own immediate domain. Mm. All right, this story on the page, uh, the front page of uh, the Punch newspaper. I know we are going to just gloss over it because uh, it seems to be uh, grabbing the attention of Dr. Diakaide. Petrol landing costs hits uh, two hundred and. 
32 naira subsidy rises to 5.58 billion naira daily and uh, you want to react to this sure. new development sure two things here mm. before this government got into power they have been seen subsidy as a fraud right so where is that subsidy now that is we are now getting 5.58 billion daily that mm. is one two when we are paying so much for even the petrol what i'm saying i mean when we are paying so much even for the petrol thank you what i'm now saying is this what are we why should we be talking about landing costs of even petrol why when we have this crude oil in our country when we have even some refineries that are being labeled illegal what is making all those refineries illegal Remove all those illegality and make it legal. <laughs> do you understand? Because people... Isn't that easy to do? Well, what is difficult in that? People that you, people that you never trained, they are coming up with, with, with the products that they are using. They train them. Whatever you need to put, whatever input you need to add, to be able to add value to what they are doing there, do it. And then make it legal. Do you understand? And it, this will now remove the burden of... This landing cost and the, the, the in quote now, fraud, fraudulent uh, 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 subsidy. Imagine, imagine when, when the prices of petrol is now being increased again. How is going to drain on people's NLC real are, income? Uh, NLC is already threatening that. No, is, NLC, what, did they, what happened the other time? The other time, NLC was saying hey, this and that. Did they revert it? No, it was not reverted. And you remember, you remember the old, the old sort of uh, rumor that, that, that went around the whole country then. It, 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 it's enough for NLC to be waiting till when government will say they want to increase. Let NLC come out and say, okay, not until when one, you legalize all those illegal refineries, make them to be legal, add value to them, and then two, let us have our refinery working. Let us have modular refineries here. Then until then, we're not going to we're not going to discuss with you. Because of the, uh, the the subsidy being paid, that's why some of these refineries are not working. Like you read in all, since, some other since, since when I, I don't know I don't know how much of uh, social media you were over the weekend. I read in some places that they were even talking about uh, people people that are stealing it down to to, to other yeah. uh, other neighboring countries. Right. Since when have you been talking about about that smuggling here and there? Right. I mean, this is Let's becoming an unbecoming perspective to this uh, development. This will always happen until we get it right. We have. So many things that I mean, the price of uh, the price of uh, landing cost of petrol, chief among amongst them are number one the international price, which is oh. seventy five dollars per barrel now, and number two is our dollar to naira rate, mm. and why importation affects this is because um, twenty five percent or thirty percent of what we make in dollars, we used to import petrol. But why must we import petrol so in the first instance? The only we thing don't refine we have to do is, um, um, o o over the weekend, I saw in the papers or in the news that um, the refinery in um, Edo State, Edo uh, Refinery, is going to be operational from the next quarter because they had to, I think they had to expand from 50,000 to 100,000 barrels per day. Um, then the government should, there is nothing we can do about it. We have to talk to Dangote. If the government tries to increase the price of petrol today, I will, no matter the person that comes out, I will be at uh, on the street. Hmm. It's not possible. No, no government can try to increase the price of petrol as of today. Because you if you so? go outside and see what's happening outside, you don't, you, people just, you see, the populace just needs a trigger. Just increase and let's see. So the only thing they have to do, Dangote has promised December, help him with everything you need to help him with. And latest first quarter of next year, know that you will pay uh, subsidy till that time. Help uh, do refinery. The other one in most, in, in most state, help all of them. Okay. Let us start to refine in this country. And all these lazy leaders we have, I won't want to mention them. Uh, that choice uh, of words, yes. please. Mm. They should also come together and do something. I mean, zone pass. Every zone should have a refinery now, right. even if it is fifty thousand barrels per day. So what's the big, the modular refinery? I mean, so it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. People are doing it. One is in Imo, one is in Edo. So what are you doing? You'll be commissioning roads that we know what you have made from the roads. Mm. So 
do something that will put food on the pe people's table, that will employ people, and that will give value to the, to the nation. All right. We, we have just to leave minute. the conversation. Just, just one. No, we've run okay. out of time, Dr. Dayo Kaede, uh, Shijibomi Adebi, Bennett, gentlemen. I must thank you for this conversation this morning. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Right.